Hi everyone, so continuing from uh, last days or last nights, last days, like I, I was out there for like forever filming yesterday, so like I woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning to get the, to the airport and then after wandering around Indianapolis, downtown Indianapolis and the White River State Park, got home at like 2 and had to edit my video. So I had a decent night of sleep, I, I guess, sort of. Um, it, you know, it was a rough day with the flights and all that, and uh, yeah, I kind of just got up. And the reason why we're not outside is, there's a reason, I'm still in the hotel room, which has the bad lighting and, and all that stuff, but uh, there is a reason why I'm in here, and we'll go over it in a bit after we finish off the special missions here to get some green books. We'll finish off all those, brilliant to brilliant hat foundables and the potions and all that. And there we go, we got two potent similar potions, something, <laughs> and green books. <laughs> all right, so um, here's the reason why I'm not going out because the fourth set of tasks has port keys that you need to unlock. You need to unlock like four. And if you check my port keys right now, I don't really want to rock walk around too much. I have three um, uh, that's opening at the moment. I'll have this one out as well. So I need to finish the ne next uh, set of port keys without walking outside. So that's going to be a bit tough, but let's see what we can do. All right, let's see what, what this mission set is. So we need one high foundable. Five medium foundables and use two potions. The use two potions might be a bit tough since we're not going anywhere. I guess, oh, is this a high foundable or is this medium? I, I, I guess we could use these on some like high high foundables, like some small Ximula potions, which is a total waste, but you know, uh, what can I do, right? <laughs> I don't have a fortress near me, I don't think. I mean, I could probably travel not too far and then open up a fortress. I mean, I, I guess I could just like turn off my game and just walk to a fortress and then open my game just to use some potions but a eh, bit of a hassle I guess I don't know we'll just finish off all these medium foundables and high foundables which shouldn't be too hard since you know the brilliant event spawns they the, the sorting hat at least they're all high high uh, threat levels right so yeah we're gonna do that finish these up oh my goodness this Gryffindor student is taking forever so hopefully we'd finish all that and then I'll find a fortress to use potions. Like, oh, there's this other thing, like, I don't really use potions in fortress battles. Like, maybe if I do, like, Dark 1, but, like, I don't really see the point of doing Dark 1. It's not that much challenge XP boost from Dark, what, 3? Or not Dark 3, uh, no, of course, that wouldn't make sense. From Force 5 anyways, but, uh, I don't know. I might just use some small stimulus on some high high uh, severity foundables. Okay, so that was medium, so the sorting hat is five. But anyways, um, I'll just grab these. These shouldn't be too hard to find, and I'll use those two potions as well. And then when we're on the fourth set, we're going to go ahead and head to White River State Park, where the Fan Fest will be uh, located uh, in a bit, and we'll explore that place, this time in the broad daylight, instead of being, you know, at midnight and can't really see much. So that should be fun. All right guys, so we're not actually at the spot um, at the moment. We're, we're in the park, but we're not at, you know, where all the tents are up and stuff. But we did, however, uh, complete our set of missions here, which I will collect. So, you know, we just don't overwalk our port keys. All right, there we go. Got another collection of rewards. It is a bit dark. I was meaning to come out a bit earlier, but, you know, stuff came up. I, there was, like, a conference call with Niantic and stuff, which I'll, I probably should already have the video uploaded with the details of uh, what transpired there. And it's a bit dark, but it's still visible, so hopefully we could get some uh, a better look at the park. So anyways, uh, last few challenges here. Oh, uh, obtain four port keys by unlocking port mantos. Uh, oh, I, I liked how they fixed the wording on that. It's less confusing now. Uh, I think they fixed it last, uh, last brilliant event as well. All right, got six potions, ten foes and wizarding challenges. Six potions are probably going to take a while, but everything else is, everything else is kind of easy here. So anyways, let's go ahead and stick the stuff into the registry. The, uh, the brilliant event stuff, which I haven't done yet, I don't think. All right, uh, there we go. Or not. Okay, there we go. Put that up. 
And the gargoyle. Let's see, Professor Flitwick. Well, the flying hog thing. Never mind. Not a gargoyle. Um, Professor Flitwick and I have a long standing disagreement about whether or not the winged boar uh, statues participated in the Battle of the Hogwarts. I didn't enchant them specifically, but I could have sworn I saw one of them die upon being a cluster of Death Eaters. Alright. That was one of my favorite scenes, the um, Professor McGonagall enchanting the, the statues. Oh my goodness. You guys could hear this. Uh, probably the cicadas here. Don't have them around in Vancouver, but wow, they're everywhere up here. But uh, yeah, yeah, that was probably one of my favorite scenes in Deathly Hollows in the movies. Anyways, uh, let's check this out. Uh, sorting Hat has been sorting first year students in their houses for hundreds of years, and this was the first time we'd ever had to consider what we'd do if it went missing. <laughs> Alright, what would they do if it went missing? Anyways, um, I'm gonna go head out and try to find some, you know, good. Uh, Wizzy Night locations and stuff, and I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, it's uh, slightly dark, but we are at the greenhouse here, so that's pretty cool. Let's, 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 you know, take a look around it. Let me show, I guess this is, this is the front of the structure. Um, they're still working on it. It's what? I'm here on Wednesday. This video should be out Thursday morning, so, um... In comparison to last night, I guess they had a few stuff, uh, but of course we're still still working on it, right? Um, starts on Saturday, obviously, and yeah, this is I, if I remember correctly, the greenhouse is where folks recharge their batteries and stuff. There's like a power station, I think. Um, I don't really have most of that information uh, memorized for the most part, so yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just a bit of setup here and there. Not, not too, uh, too complete yet. But <laughs> look at, look at that, look at that, uh, look at that sofa, the lounger there. Uh, it's not the biggest structure. I'm not sure how many people would fit in here because I'm sure a lot of people will be running out of batteries, right? I'm pretty sure everyone will bring power banks, but you know, they'll run out eventually as well as the day goes on. It's probably gonna be a long day, especially for uh, early access folks. So, yeah. Anyways, um, I'm not, let me just walk in and see what's in that center stage over there. Um, yeah, basically nothing, nothing. Um, it's not near complete. Oh, I don't even know what's near complete, but it's not complete at the moment. I'm pretty sure there's no toadstools around here. Not in any of the pots, maybe they're still growing. You know, give it a 24-hour. If if they're stingy with the um, with the with the spell energy, they won't they won't make it grow faster nor get any more toadstools. But you know, it's gonna take them a while to grow out. So, anyways, that's the greenhouse. It looks like uh, I'm gonna go around, check out some of the other structures, and uh, you know, we'll we'll see how they are. All right, so there's some other tents around here. There's a bunch of porta potties. Um, which don't, I don't think nothing has really manifested yet. Um, I don't know what that building's really for. There's the large building over there. But, uh, nothing too much has gone up yet. There's also the nine and three quarters tent, which by the time I get there, it's probably going to be a bit too late. So, this is just the surroundings for the park. This is a military park. There's a greenhouse again. So, yeah, not too much have been really set up yet. They're like, they're working on it, but... It's probably a better idea for me to come back tomorrow. Uh, see if they have a bit more progress on stuff. Uh, hopefully they don't fence it all off by tomorrow, but uh, who knows? Uh, you know, it's still a great park for for some care magical creature spawns, which I don't really need too much, but hey, if I get a friends here and there at Buckbeak, it would be worth coming around to, you know, just for, just for playing the game, right? So, yeah, oh, you know what? I should show you guys the in-game map for this area to show, show, show you guys what it looks like. All right, let me get that set up. All right, so this is what it looks like in-game. So this is the military park. I'm pretty sure it's military park. And, you know, this is where the greenhouse is at, some other, you know, stuff. If you guys, I don't have the map with me at the moment. I should probably check it in a bit. But uh, you see, uh, as you can see, down the, across from the river, Sauce Canal or whatever, that's where all the action is at. There's where all the greenhouses and stuff are at. Not 
greenhouses that end. Well, there are some greenhouses. Greenhouses and there's that one sole fortress that this place has. There's another fortress across, right? And near the zoo and stuff. So overall, it's a pretty decent uh, location for the most part. A uh, decent amount of inns. And it's not going to be too crazy. Of course, when the event starts, I expect all of them to be lit up with dark detectors. So that should be cool. And also, oh, one thing I do want to mention, uh, for those of you who are worried about this, uh, when we were in the conference call this afternoon, we did talk about the security. They assured us that they've um, they put security as their top priority since, you know, recently it hasn't been the most, you know, peaceful year around in the States for those who are coming from outside the States who are paranoid, paranoid like me about that. But uh, they, they, they did say they, they're working really hard on security as well. So don't worry too much about that, hopefully. And uh, yeah, this is the park. So if you want another good look at it, I'll twirl around in game on the map, not actually in life. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll spin around in life as well, but uh, this doesn't accomplish much. Anyways, I still need to walk out these port keys. So we'll try and finish those. As for my potions, uh, I have one brewing at the moment. So yeah, it's gonna take me a while to finish all my potions and stuff. But uh, we'll see, I'm gonna go over and do the wizarding challenge. Oh, so we could double, they already got a port key unlocked. So uh, we got two more left, uh, 1.4 km to finish them all. So that shouldn't be too much of an issue. The defeat 10 foes and wizarding challenge, that one should be easy. So hopefully we don't spend too much time on that one. And then the brew six potions, that's gonna take a while. Anyways, I'll see you guys when I get all the porkies open and see how many foes I defeat in the wizarding challenge. All right, here's the canal that uh, links, well, I guess separates, not links, uh, one part of the event from the other which, you know, the only way to get across is obviously to just swim across. It's not uh, the biggest deal in the world, especially if folks with cameras, phones and stuff, you know, no big deal. We just have to swim over. But, oh, wait, since we're um, witches and wizards, we could just Wingardium Le- Oh, no, that skill's not in the game yet. So, uh, we just visited Military Park. Now this is actually the actual White River State Park. Uh, as you guys, you know, could check. And here's where... And, well, you guys can't really see it in-game right now, but here's where more, more of the um, exciting stuff in-game is, is at. Well, you know what? Actually, if you compare the ends, uh, I think, I th you know what? I actually think the other side has a slightly bit more ends. But this one also has a, um, a fortress as well, so at first I thought we'd only have one fortress for the whole of it, but apparently not. We have two. Um, one in the other park and then one down here. And this is, I believe, over here... This is where the nine and three quarter spawn zone are. And then down there is another dark, uh, dark, well, not another, a dark, um, dark arts spawn zone. So that's cool. Um, let me check around. A lot of these, this is, is this like a fence? Oh, these are probably the fences. Um, I'll, I'll walk around and see what else is around and I'll, I'll check, check with you guys in a bit. All right, so basically this is what the White River State Park looks like in game. So yeah, we got, Oh, there's another one uh, across the bridge over there. Folks do want to venture over there. So, yeah, this is basically what we got over here. Wow, these are a decent amount of spawns, I'd have to say. Um, haven't seen any good quality ones, but they, they, they got the numbers. And, you know, by the vent, again, all these, it's are going to get lit up by dark detectors. Someone's already using <laughs> dark detector over there right now, but uh, I would expect them all to be lit up uh, during the event. And, uh, yeah, uh, this, this zone should be the nine three quarter zone and then down there should be dark heart zone let me check uh the tweeter <laughs> um from jibs I, i'm not 100 percent sure where this map is from probably from the you know the official um was unite page right so <clears throat> so across the bridge there's also care magical creatures that's like near the zoo i think so there's that as well and there's a nine and three quarters tent over here there's a bunch of stuff um there's water all that stuff um, down here, that's the Dark Arts at the Concert Lawn. And then up there, uh, where we were at with the big X thing, that was a military park where we were just at with the greenhouse. And then the State Museum Lawn is also nine and three quarters. So those are those locations, I guess. Well, uh, let's see. I'm probably not gonna walk over there. Again, not the best time to come out and do a video, uh, but I was quite busy uh, today, so. I'll try my best, I promise, I'll try my best to actually come out 
uh, during the day, uh, tomorrow, uh, and walk around the park and see their progress. And again, uh, none of the stuff are really built up yet, just basically a bunch of empty tents. Hopefully they'll make some more progress in the days to come and yeah, yeah it looks good so far. All right, this is not what I started the camera for, but there is a severe spawn over here. It's a unicorn. So I'm gonna use strong stimulus since I really don't need any of these. You know what, honestly, I, <laughs> you know what? If it weren't for the camera, I probably wouldn't even use a potion on this one since it's not really useful. I already have enough fragments and I don't have, I, I don't think, which one that I don't have enough of to level up that page? I think it's Buckbeak. Wait, no, 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 it, it's friends, it's friends. It's Buckbeak, the other page. So yeah, there's that. And also, um, I have just found the, if I could flip this over, Southern Gate. So this is, I guess the Southern Gate for the event. Um, I will be attending the event at the Southern Gate. Uh, obviously there's the north one, northern one as well. I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I'll find it around here. So uh, yeah, here we go. Southern Gate for the event. I was just about to take down my, uh, I think last one I need for the Brilliant event. And uh, by the way, like it's really sad how how irrelevant Tier Asian Hex really becomes in higher chambers. So, you know, it's kind of sad. But anyways, uh, I'm pouring one out for the prof professors out there again. So I should have this all done over here in terms of our um, events. Well, I still need to brew six potions. I got one done, so that's progress. But we finished the 10 foes and wizarding challenges one. And then now we still got to brew our potions, which I'm just throwing in like the small similar ones, even though they're, they're not really uh, useful, obviously. But hey, you know, I just need to finish this up fast. So I guess I will see you guys uh, when I actually do um, finish up all my potions, which is probably going to be sometime today midnight, but you know, I need to get the green bucks. Well, yeah, you guys, I found the uh, north entrance. You guys, check this out. So for those of you entering from the north, there's a north entrance right across the bridge and stuff. So there's that, another more tents and other stuff. So yeah, this is the north entrance. Yo, look what I found, this tent of sorts with, I don't know, stuff. Are those, are those? Just lights, right? Candles, I don't know. It looks cool at night. Um, I actually saw this a bit earlier when it wasn't dark. So, huh, that's pretty cool. All right, back at the uh, hotel, it's like, two o'clock and it's echoey but this is like the only place where there's light <laughs> so bear with me anyways i did complete the thing thing the <laughs> brew six potions so there's that i'm gonna collect all those and there we go the last nine books in the set of missions so with that done i've been complete and let's spend those books then and we're gonna i did not see what you said there all right, these disappear too easily, <laughs> gotta say. Uh, let's finish up the registry stuff first, get that out of the way. Okay, got some levels here. Well, just one level, never mind. And we got that. So, we just need the post over here and the boat, which we'll get through port keys and stones, uh, vent stones. Anyways, time to unlock form quorum which would get us to 100% defense if we have an aura with a max protection charm. Unfortunately my dad, who is the uh, professor in our group, uh, didn't go full defense, could not could not persuade them to, which is fine. But we still have high enough defense here with form quorum. So yep, that was one of my options. I was either going to go form quorum or go down and grab bio creatures besides from what I've heard, the fan fest is gonna give us a decent amount of um, uh, green books too. So there's also that. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. Form corn, uh, six percent more defense for 15 green books, and it has to be when you're 50 percent HP or above. Really not worth it, but it's for the memes, for the 100 percent defense memes. So, anyways, there we go. Uh, as long as I can meet a professor with maxed out defense charm at the fan fest. 
I'll have 100% defense. So, anyways, that's me for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I promise tomorrow I'll try to go get out a bit earlier for some better footage of the site. Hopefully they don't fence it up yet, but if they fence it up, oh well. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll still, you know, obviously get to go there or when, when the event starts. So anyways, again, that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like if you did and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.